Okay, today we'll be doing something a little bit different. Today we'll be opening up two used Amsoil oil filters. Numbers EA011, marked number one, marked number two. And I got these used oil filters from a very generous viewer whose name is Chuck from Brownsville, Pennsylvania. Thanks, Chuck. Amsoil oil filter number one was in service for 21 months, 16,170 miles. Amsoil oil filter number two was in service for 26 months, but only 5,049 miles. Chuck hasn't driven his truck that much in the last two years. These two oil filters came off of Chuck's 2017 Ford F-250 XLT. Yep, the one with a 6.2 liter gasoline engine, which now has 48,585 miles. On each oil change interval, he was using Amzo 5W30 Signature Series Oil. Let's open up and compare these two used oil filters. Given the mileage difference between them, this should be very interesting to see how they look. So let's get started. Okay, so before we open these filters up, let's take a quick look at them. This is the older filter with 16,000 miles on it. It's kind of worn out. You can't even see a date coat on it. And this one has a date coat. So let's take a look at this one. 092018C, product of USA. And this is a sticker. They both have stickers on them. This filter has six inlet holes, one little bit larger with a silicone engine back valve, metal core louvers, bypass valve down below, four grooves there for threads, and a nitro rubber gasket. Which is on there pretty good. Pretty thick also. These gaskets, both of them should be the same. I'll put this one to the side. I'll, I'll put the measurement up on the screen though, just in case it isn't the same. But So that's that one. Okay, and that's, this is a 16,000 filter, number one. And it's the same exact filter, so no use going through all that. But here's the gasket. It's on there pretty good. And I'll put the thickness of this on the screen. Okay, so both of these filters should be, should be identical. But we'll open them both up. I'm sure the filter media is going to look a little different. You know, this one should catch a lot more particles. All right, so I'm going to try to open this up on camera. Well, let's do this one first. Do the older one first. Okay, I'll put this one to the side. I'll do this one next. Okay, so Chuck drained these out pretty good. Okay, so we'll put it's number one, number two. So let's take a look at these guys. Okay, the silicone engine bag well stuck to this one. I can see a little bit of sludge in there going on. Engine bag well, let's take a quick look at it. Oh yeah, to get some a little bit of sludging on the engine bag well. Okay, you can see it. Let's take a look at this older one first. We'll just we'll put this one to the side for now. See what this is. 
This almost seems like rust. I have to clean that unless it's glue. I have to clean that up and see what that is, but Okay. This side looks you know, a little bit right there. It's probably probably glue. That's probably what that is. Let's take a look at these pleats. This looks like the seam right here. Now I'll put the number of pleats on the screen. Yeah, I think that's glue. It's all glue on there. And both of these filters, it's a full synthetic media with a micron rating of 99% at 20 microns. Yeah, so the only thing I see on this one is the excess glue on here. Bypass valve. Okay, that looks good. Okay. Looks pretty clean. Looks like a little bit of something there. But I'm going to have this can sitting like this. See what happens when it drains out. And I'm going to put the thickness of this can up on the screen right now. Okay, and let's look at this newer one. With less miles, only 5,000 miles. And you join back valve. Yeah, it looks a lot cleaner. I don't see any tears or slits on any of these. Either one of these. That so looks good. Filter element. Now I'll put the number of pleats for this one on the screen. You can see the seam right there. These got crimp seams on them because it's a wire backing. It's got a crimp seam. Excess glue, look at that right there, big glob. Right there. This metal end cap looks pretty clean. This one does too. Except right here. And here. And this has the same micron rating, same filter media, because they're exact same filters. Yeah, kind of a gap in that seam. See that? Almost like almost wants to pull apart. Started to pull apart. Okay, let's get the width on these filter medias. And they should be the same. I'm gonna two point four seven minus. 2.47 inches minus a tenth of an inch. Yeah, I'm just going to call them the same thing, 2.46. I'm going to call them 2.46 minus a tenth of an inch. Let me cut these filter medias open, squeeze them out and stretch them out and see what they look like. Be right back. Okay, here they are both stretched out. And filter number one, it's 48 inches long because some of it got cut off. Filter number two is 50 inches long. Okay, now let's get the thickness on these filter medias. Filter number one is a little bit thinner because the filter media is stuck to the to the uh, metal screen backing. So I'm going to take the measurements anyways, but they're not good measurements. 0.44 millimeters for the number one, AMS oil number one, and AMS oil number two. 0.60 millimeters. Six zero. So, you can see that it's a little bit thicker. And this is the filtering side. Back side. 
And if we take a look at these microscopes I, on their picture, um, they, they pretty much look the same. I couldn't get any, you know, I was taking the mic microscope picture. No light was coming through these filter media. So there's a lot of, of soot inside, soot and carbon inside of here. So let's take a look at that picture. So I had like the light shining on top. It's the only way you could get anything, you know, any kind of picture on these on these filters, but they look pretty similar. Now let's take a look at them up close. So the only thing you can really see like on this, this is number one. You can see some carbon and soot on the outside where you really can't see that on filter number, Amazon number two. They almost look like two different medias also. This filter was on two years ago. You know, there's a, there's a two year difference between these two guys. So the filter media kind of looks different. They both look different from each other. All right, let's take a look at the rest of the filter. So here you can see it's the metal screen backing. And you can see on the number one filter, Amazon number one, the media kind of stuck to it. And it's stuck throughout. You can see it. It's, it's stuck you know, all over compared to number two. So I'm assuming that this is a different filter media or maybe because it was on there, you know, 16,000 miles and it, it changed the color and it changed, um, you know, and it's, it made it stick to the, to the wire backing. But let's take a look at these louvers and let's see, shut the light off here. Okay. Those look fine. They're opened up. Yeah, these look fine also. They both look fine. And let's take a look at the base plates. So, as you can see, I really didn't clean this. I just touched it with a rag. I was like touching them like this. You know, and you can still see a little bit of sludging was going on with number one compared to number two. Front side and back side. And you can also see it, the difference here. What's going on here, you can see that. So, you know, you can run a filter for 15,000 miles or whatever, but you're going to have a little bit of sledging going on. And I forgot to mention before the cans on number two, the bypass valve, and I forgot to mention the can, but the, they, they look fine. And the gaskets, they're both the same, both good gaskets. The cans, there's the inside of the cans. And you can see the old one here. Doesn't look too bad. I had it sitting like this. And the new one I had sitting like this. And a little bit of, looks like a little bit of carbon right there. It is. A little bit of sludging. But it's smooth, so it's good. But it's, I wonder why it did that. Just in that one little spot there, it's it sludged up. And this is the, this is filter number two. Strange. Wasn't on there as long, only 5,000 something miles. Okay, and so I want to take a look at this end cap real quick. And I'm not sure if this is glue. I tried scraping it right here. I don't know if it's, it could be like a glue residue or it could be just because it doesn't really see it really doesn't scrape off like it feels regular glue um, it seems more like a rust to me but this filter has been sitting since uh, 
it came off in 2021, so it's been sitting for three, three years. So who knows, maybe some moisture got in there, made it rust. Could be like a, a, a glue that was on there and then maybe it just left this like a residue. I don't know. But you know, this is an old filter, so that's probably the reason why. It's not like, it's not like this one here. I mean, this one, if you get some glue, it'll, it'll come off. You, know, you can scrape it off. You can tell it's a glue. It's hard. So, like, like this stuff here. You know, with a knife, I'm sure it's going to come off. Yeah, see, it's, it's like you can tell it's glue. But with this other one, I can't tell. Oh, well. And again, I want to thank Chuck for sending me these two Amazon oil filters. And I think I'll wrap this video up. And don't forget, Oil Filter Fridays, I try to open up an oil filter every Friday on this YouTube channel. So if you like this video, please hit that like button. Thanks for watching, and take care.